When talking about partial discharges, we use a certain vocabulary or a certain set of terminology. This vocabulary or this terminology usually comes from standards. And in the world I live in, there are two big institutions that create standards. One of them is the IEEE in North America, and the other one is the IEC in Europe. This is usually the standards I'm exposed to. So here is a small list of some of the standards from the IEEE that deal with partial discharge testing. We have standards, for example, for transformers, for cables, for rotating machines. We also have the IEC, and here as well is a short list of some of the standards. It's, it's not complete. And there are standards about testing partial discharges on cables, on rotating machines, on transformers. The cool thing here is that the majority of these standards actually refer to the IEC 60 and the IEC 60 to 70 is a standard that only deals with partial discharge testing and it defines a lot of the vocabulary we are using. So, for example, given um, what is a partial discharge, what is a pulse, um, what is a repetition rate, what is background noise, but also words like partial discharge inception voltage and partial discharge extinction voltage. So, what is a partial discharge? Well, in very short terms, a partial discharge is a small localized discharge that partially bridges the insulation between two conductors, usually a high voltage conductor and a ground conductor. And as we know, it creates heat, it usually destroys the insulation system and therefore it makes a lot of sense to test it or to detect it, to test it and to measure them. So there's one very important thing about partial discharges and the generic term about that. Partial discharges have been known since the late 50s and early 60s. And there were technicians and engineers in North America that experienced a phenomenon on the high voltage lines and it was a bluish glow and usually a hissing sound and they called this corona. And we still call this corona. But for a while, for a couple of years, corona was used as a generic term for partial discharges. And the IEC 60 to 70 clearly states corona is one kind of partial discharge an external partial discharge, but it is not the generic term for partial discharges. So partial discharge can be external, example given corona, they can be internal, for example a void or electrical tree, and then we can have surface discharges, they can actually have an outside or inside. So now as we have defined partial discharge, let's go on for the next videos. See you soon.